Ready? Yeah. Cole? Okay, I'm recording. Now concentrate, Jody. Tell me if you feel anything in particular about any of these objects. Anything I did? Thank you, Dad. It's so pretty. Open it. Jody, you okay? I'm fine. Did you see something? No. No, it was... Uh, it was all blurry. I didn't see anything. Yeah. Nathan? Okay, I'll tell him. Nathan, someone named Ryan Clayton is here to see you. He says you know what it's about. Yes. I'll be back in a moment. Listen, I never got around to telling her I need more time. No. Professor Dawkins, she needs to come with me today. I, I have my orders. Christ, she's only a child. My assistant and I are the only family she's got. She doesn't have any idea what's out there. Look, Dawkins, I see your side of it. All right, I do. But orders are orders, right? You gonna bring her to me or do I have to go and get her? Jody, could you come here, please? What's, what's going on, Nathan? You, you look upset. Jody, this is Ryan Clayton from the CIA. The agents, the agency wants you to join their military school program at Camp Perry. Ryan's going to take care of you from now on. You have to go with him, Jody. Today. Understand? Why me? This unit belongs to the CIA. They've been tracking your case ever since you arrived. They know what you and Aiden can do. What am I, a toy? Some kind of a test subject? Did you ever just stop and think about what I want? Jody, I know. It's difficult, but you need to understand, this is a great opportunity for you. Oh, so that's just it? You know what's best, and I'm, I'm just supposed to shut up and obey orders? Jesus, listen up, Miss Holmes. I don't give a shit about your pathetic adolescent pouting, all right? You can rant and rave all you want, but you'll shut your mouth and do as you're told.
Shall we stop immediately? Go get my things. <laughs> Only the essentials. We've got everything you need at Camp Perry. It's Ryan. Ryan! I was just wondering if you got my email. 
What, what, wait, what, what email? The one I sent three days ago. You know, I've, I've actually been having problems with my computer. What, what was the email about? Dinner, tonight, fancy restaurant. Uh, anyway, it, it's too late now, so maybe another time? Shit. Shit, I'm so sorry. I... You know, why, why don't you just come over here for dinner tonight? I mean, you wanted to see my apartment anyway, so... Uh, sure, but I... How about around eight? Just... Okay. Yeah, I'll, I'll bring a kick-ass bottle of wine. See you later. Now I get why you blasted my computer. You didn't want me to see Ryan. It's not your call, Aiden. I can do what I want. Okay. Okay. It's seven o'clock. I have an hour to make dinner, tidy up, and make myself look. The trash can in the kitchen. Oh, crap. Do I have time to take a shower first? I wear. Oh, hi, Ryan. I've been waiting for you. I don't know. Oh, hello, Ryan. Oh, do you like it? Classic, elegant, je ne sais quoi. I don't want to give him the wrong idea. Oh. Oh, hey, Ryan. Yeah, whatever, I just, like, threw these old things on, because... Yeah, I'm cool. I'm cool. Is it not enough effort? Hot. He is gonna see a whole new side of me. You might as well just give up, Aiden. Okay? This date is going on. Period. All right, dirty clothes in the basket in the bathroom. All right, there.
got the dinner. Okay, there's, there's got to be something in the kitchen. Aiden, don't be a pain in the ass. Gotta find something I can make in one hour with what's ever left in the fridge. Asian beef, huh? I mean, that looks good. It's not too complicated. Curried chicken with oven-baked vegetables. It'll take some time in the oven, but it seems doable. Pizza delivery. I mean, it's... Not exactly gourmet, but it, it, no preparation, no mess. I mean, it could be an option. Yeah, chicken curry, a little down-home flavor. I mean, he's gonna love that. I mean, as long as I don't fuck it up. Oh, crap. Crap, he's early. I'm coming! Oh, good one, Aiden. Okay, you got me. Now, open the door. Aiden! Aiden, come on, open up! too. You know, you're wasting your time, Aiden. You're not gonna stop me from seeing Ryan. Thanks, Aiden.
So far, so good. Take an oven dish. Into the oven we go. Books. Okay, on the bookshelf. Okay, great.
Huh. Yeah, that's very funny, Aiden. Wow, it's very romantic. <laughs> I didn't behave yourself. This is important to me, and I'm counting on you. <laughs> uh, Chateau Margot, 2001. The guy in the store said it was a pretty good year. That sounds good to me. So. Why don't you sit? Um, I'll get the, um, the thing that opens the wine. <laughs> cool apartment. Huh? Yeah, thanks. I didn't. For fuck's sakes. Want me to open it? No, no, I'll do it. <laughs> to your new apartment. To my new apartment. <laughs> Oh, so when did you move in? Um, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, the agency found it for me and all furnished and everything, which is... It's actually the first place I've ever had, just by myself, so... It's weird getting used to the idea of it. <laughs> and how about you? Where, where do you live? Oh, I uh, have a place just outside town. It's small, but, you know, it's got a little garden and it's pretty quiet. And did you, did you grow up here? Or? No, no, I, I was born in Oregon. Now my parents and brother still live there. But I, I moved out when I was 16. 16? Oh. oh. Did you get kicked out or something? Uh, well, things were pretty chaotic at home. My, my stepfather liked to beat me when he had too much to drink. I just decided to get out before one of us went too far. Um, how did you end up joining the CIA? I, uh, I went through college, not really knowing what I wanted to do. Uh, tried the army, you know, for the action, travel, adventure, <laughs> long enough to realize that wasn't for me. <laughs> and when a CIA agent recruiter approached me, I, I jumped at it. So 
I should probably, you know, I'm gonna go check on the dinner because this cooking thing, it's a whole new adventure <laughs> for me. You need help? No, but why don't you go sit and more wine would be nice. <laughs> Smells good. Oh, it's um, chicken curry with oven baked vegetables. I mean, that's what it's supposed to be. So. I didn't know you cooked, and it looks great. Mm. It's good. Oh, good. I'm. I'm glad. I'm glad you like it. We've been working together now for, what, two years? I know almost nothing about you. I mean, there's nothing much to say. I grew up with my parents on the DPA campus, and then, and then Nathan looked after me. And, well, you pretty much know the rest, so. Yeah, your parents, do you, uh, you still see them? No. No, I don't. I'm. I think they were just terrified about how different I was. So Nathan and Cole, they, they brought me up more or less. They taught me how to cope with Iden, how to accept myself as I am. I mean, it wasn't always easy, but I'm making progress. You know, did, did Nathan ever manage to explain to you why you have this link with Iden? No. I mean, not really. I mean, they learned a lot of stuff about the info world. Really not much about Aiden. I mean, I, I don't think even he knows who or what he is. <laughs> it's like, is he here now listening to us? And... Yeah. Yeah, he never leaves me. What about you? Do you have Do you have any family here? No, no. My uh, my parents are still in Oregon. Go to see them as little as possible. <laughs> and are you um? Are you married or anything? No, no. But yes, I mean I I, I was. You know, my ex-wife and I have been separated for uh, two years, and uh, yeah, I couldn't work. I mean, in the end, it didn't. You know, we had our good times, but uh, eventually we decided to go our separate ways. How about you? Anyone on your radar? I've got Aiden, so. I mean, anyone in our world. <laughs> you know what? Aiden kind of has always made people run away. Or, or maybe it's me. Maybe I'm just too odd for anyone to be interested in. You're special, Jody. I has got nothing to do with this.
Hey, Aiden. Thank you. 